Hi guys, so I'm going to do the week 17 baby bump vlog. Um, I am getting ready to go to church, but I have a little bit of time before I have to go. So I wanted to hop on here and do a really quick one since this afternoon I got a lot of baking and things to do for Christmas. So <coughs> um, I got my phone app like always to tell you guys all the big milestones that happened this week. Let me just open that up. I'm still fighting off a little bit of the cold, so I'm kind of wheezy, that's why. Okay. Okay. So, week 17. Um, I'm actually 17 weeks and 6 days today, but I always do these towards the end of the week, just so, um, I don't know, it makes sense to do it at the end of the week, towards the end. Okay, so anyway, it says that the baby's skeleton is changing from soft cartilage to bone. An umbilical cord is growing stronger and thicker. The baby weighs 5 ounces, which is probably weighs a little more now because I'm closer to 18 weeks. Um, and it's the size, about the size of a turnip. Um, and it's about 5 inches long from head to bottom. And they're moving, the baby's moving its joints and sweat glands are starting to develop. Is there anything else? Um, okay, and then it just says kind of, it gives you a little bit of um, information about certain things I might be feeling. Um, it talks about your balance being a little off, um, and that's because your belly's growing and center of gravity changes, um, which I don't feel like I've been really, really like clumsy. I just, I'm clumsy naturally anyway. Um, I just really try to be careful of watching where I'm going. Um, common sense things, you know, wear low heel. Okay, guys, so sorry about that. My batteries died. <laughs> um, see if I can figure out what I was talking about. Um, yeah, so just pretty much things like that. Um, I this week hasn't really been much different. I've um, had heartburn a lot, mostly with like tomato-based foods. Like if I eat any kind of pizza, I get heartburn really bad. Um, it hasn't been like too like unbearable though. I just like will drink some water. Um, I've kind of had the I think they're called um, the necklace is hurting um their ligament pains like on the side where my belly is just stretching and I've had a little bit of the leg cramps at night but that um the pregnancy pillow that I got has really helped a lot with that um what else I haven't really been sick I feel really really good um I'm just like a little tired every now and then like I need a nap I'm still sleeping pretty good. I really think that pregnancy pillow helps a lot, like to help me sleep through the night. Um, I've been drinking lots of water. I feel like I'm eating a little bit more, but not like a whole, whole lot. Um, craving wise, I haven't really craved anything weird except for <laughs> SpaghettiOs. And I don't know if that's more like a craving or just that it's convenient to have at work. Um, when I don't really like the lunch. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Like, I felt the baby move a couple more times and it's still just really small, like, little, um, like, squirms. It's not like a kick or anything, but, um, it's one of those things I have to be really, really still and really, like, tuned in to feel or, um, <laughs> I don't feel it. And, um, it's almost like it kind of feels like a gas bubble sometimes. Um, but my, you know, I've ha had a couple of friends that have kids tell me that that is actually the baby moving when it feels kind of like a gas bubble or, you know, you feel a little squirm, that's actually the baby moving. So I'm sure it's just doing something really simple like moving its little hand or whatever. But um, that's pretty neat to feel that. I can't really wait until it starts moving a whole lot more. Um, 
But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I've had this cold that I've been trying to fight, and it's like when you're pregnant, it's harder to get over things like that. Um, but I finally feel like I'm on the road to recovery. I'm still a little congested in the chest, but I have my albuterol inhaler that is okay to take, and um, I actually can take Robitussin if it gets too bad, but I can take it only like a small dosage. So I've been trying to just take that if I need it. I don't like to take medicine unless I absolutely have to, but I don't want to get sick. Um, so yeah, I um, have an appointment Wednesday. I'm hoping I get to go because there's supposed to be, we have a chance of snow. <laughs> so if it snows and ices, I won't get a chance to get out. But um, next Saturday we'll actually be finding out the gender and doing gender reveals with both of our parents. I think we're going to do Josh's parents first since we're going to be up there and then we're going to come home and have like a dinner reveal with my parents and then um, we'll probably post after that. I don't know if I'll get the reveal videos up because I'm going to film those. I don't know if I'll get those up on Saturday night or Sunday. It'll probably be Sunday after church um, just because I'm sure we'll be really really tired after all the traveling. But um yeah, I feel good. Um, I don't know. I'm wearing maternity clothes still, and they're super, super comfy. The outfit I have on is pure maternity, except for my undershirt, and it's really, really comfortable. Um, so, yeah, I hope everybody has a good Christmas. I will be on here next, probably next Sunday. I'll get the video posted. It's going to be like a big video with the gender reveal. I'm really, really excited. Josh and I both feel like it's a girl. A lot of people think that it's a girl, and um, I don't know, my dad thinks it's a boy, but I don't know, we'll see if our instincts are right. I really have a pretty strong feeling it's a girl, but we'll ha be happy either way. Um, I did get a little small gift, but I didn't pull it out, so I'll just include that next week. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a good week. I'll include a little baby bump um, update at the end. You can see how it's grown. It's grown a little bit. I feel like it's, you know, starting to round off and everything. But I hope you guys have a good Christmas, and I will see you all later. Bye.